stock rollers are pulling that stock down through the header and then the two plates on top prevent that ear from going all the way through. So basically it's just the stock or just the ear going through the combine. Most of the stock is thrown back on the ground right at the header. And then you can see those what we call gathering chains. Taking that ear up into the header and then the cross auger taking it over to the feeder house and into the combine. I'm going to end up on that end of the field so you can go down to that end. So throughout the summer, I kept pointing out in this field that this side of the field was tilled ground and this side of the field was no-till ground. So I'm trying to keep it separate as much as I can. Of course, with my plain basic yield monitor, we won't get the exact differences, but let's just walk down here and we're gonna pull some ears. So this is the tilled side. You can see the ground there, how it was tilled up. Uh, so let's just start here and pull three ears. So we'll start here. I'm gonna pull ear number five, 10, and 20. That's fair enough. So we'll start here with number one. We're not gonna pull this one. Five, 10, and 20. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 10. 11 and 20. All right, three ears. And all this is gonna do is show us the difference in the ears. I'm not doing a stand count uh, on these. I'll just throw these ears down here. All right. That's tilled ears. And let's go in here. 
and this is no-till ground here you can see so we're not going to pull the first ear so one two three four five six ten and I noticed right away that well I can't pull the ear off um, the ears are standing up a little bit taller and I said that all along that this corn was taller in the tilled field. All right, that was 10, 11, 19, and 20. Stand not quite as good here. You can just see a little more missing spot, so that's gonna make a difference. Now, where did I put my other ears? Here they are. Okay. So this is no-till. All right, let's shuck the ears and pull them back. Oh, darn it, I don't have my tripod. Tilt ground here. No till over here. Okay, well, the no till ears look a little bit larger. They're definitely longer. But, this is interesting here. We've got a little bit of, uh, hmm, what do we have here? A little bit of rotting that happened on these ears in the no-till part. They have a little more girth to them than these do. See the difference? Difference in the in the girth. Uh, let me count the uh, rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14 rows. Sixteen rows. Sixteen. Eighteen and 16, 16, 18, 16, 16, 14, and 12. Okay, so that is a huge difference as well in the row counts. We had a 12, 14, 16, and a 16, 16, 18. Longer ears, more rows. So part of that is because of the stand. So the ears have gotten a little larger so this is, I wish I had a, 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 a green cart here, or a test cart, just to test this. All planted the same day, all the same variety, just that this was tilled ground. I tilled it uh, one time with a mulcher to help level it out a little bit. And this has been no till ground. Ooh, I haven't tilled it in probably five years. So is it just this area here? Well, no, you get out in here. And part of the stand issue, well, when you get here, it's okay. Part of the stand issue was it was uh, wet, just a hair wet when I planted it. So right here, we've got eight feet there that didn't come up. And so by it being wet when I planted it, didn't get a good closing uh, on the track or on the furrow. That's very unscientific at this point um, I'll try to see how it shakes out with the yield uh, this is a small field here uh, it's only about four acres there with that no-till it's about uh, 16 or 17 acres there so yeah We'll see if I can tell the difference with the, my crude yield monitor.
dumping one tank into the bin and then filling the truck for tomorrow uh, so I can take it to the elevator tomorrow. So I'm dumping this bin in him now. This is a full tank on the combine, uh, about 250, 260 bushels. He's taking that to the bin, dumping it, bringing the truck back, and then I will fill the truck uh, in order to take to the elevator tomorrow. I, I first got to go do the school thing, the uh, ag day at school. So I'll take the combine up. The bird man has brought the uh, blower down to me. So once I'm done here this evening, I can blow the combine off. And uh, then I'll just drive it up to school tomorrow. The school is only about uh, two miles, two, about two and a half miles away. So it's no big deal for me to drive the combine uh, up to the school tomorrow morning. So I'll be up there about uh, two hours, I guess, with setup and travel time, it'll be about three hours total. So then once I finish that, I will take that uh, load of corn to the elevator, get back, and I may be able to finish corn tomorrow. I will have about, I think, seven acres left. So if the bin will hold the rest, then I think I can finish it tomorrow. I think I'm uh, quite full. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh yes, 100% full. If I'd have pulled back on the stick, she would have gone over. Okay, in this field, I've got 12 rows left. So uh, my yield monitor is telling me this field here was 167.7. Hey, I can round that up, 168. So that's a little bit better than the other farm there. What did I say, 161.1. One. Uh, let me hit a few buttons up here and go back to that other farm. Yes, 161.1. One. Uh, 167.7 here, so 168. Um, this field is a little bit better than those two fields down there as far as fertility and drainage wise. Uh, I had issues there. Uh, I think I showed you along the uh, creek shore where it was flooding, and so we had some wheat pressure. Uh, probably lost I don't know, maybe a half an acre, a little bit more than that because of the high tides that come up. So if we take that into consideration, then everything is yielding right about the same. So no complaints. Okay, I really don't have anything else to say. We're going to finish this field, dump it on the truck. I'll jump into the next field, get enough corn out of there to finish loading the truck. Uh, uh, so I will be able to take that truck to the elevator tomorrow. Um, I'm going to blow the combine off after I load the truck. So that's about all I got for you. So I'm going to say, see ya.